What's up, ballers? We are back with some more news in NBA Live Mobile as well as some new Team of the Week players. Before we get started, I do have some subscriber shoutouts that we're going to put up up there. So those are the people that were the first to comment on my last video. If you guys want to be in one of those, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so that you know as soon as my next video goes up. So one of the big things that people were complaining about with NBA Live Mobile 18 was the new stamina system. Basically, you had to spend a lot more stamina to get stuff as compared to last year. And they have a huge patch right here that's going to balance everything out. So boosting your max stamina from 100 all the way up to 300. Basically the equivalent of what it was last year. They just added a zero on the end. But you actually get better value from your stamina for the live events and for head-to-head. -head. So you can play twice as many head-to-head -head games as you would have been able to last year on one stamina refill. Also, live events are cheaper, so the majority of live events last year were three or four stamina. This year, in comparison, if we were to average it out, it would only be about the equivalent of one stamina or less just to play one live event. If we use the example of the Team of the Week live event, so you've got this one where you pay sem 7 stamina and you get 2 tokens. That's basically like if they had a live event last year where you paid 0.7 stamina and you got 2 tokens for something. Now that being said, you still have to play an insane amount to try to get anything remotely close to getting the Master. But it's still a really good start and I think it's a good direction to have the game heading. But that being said, we do have new Team of the Week players. We'll go on over to sets. And we got Bradley Beal right here. You cannot get Bradley Beal on the auction house. So, they still haven't listened to that. I'm still hoping that they do something to change that in the future. Because, guys, I love opening packs. I love opening bundles. I'm not going to open bundles if I can't auction the player off. So for right now, I'm going to stick. I did open. Uh, I did do enough live events to get one of these. If I get something nice out of here, then I might also open the rep pack in the store. I'm not sure if they had rep packs last week. So that could be a nice addition. That could be something that was already there. And we get David Nwaba. Uh, 70 overall, so the worst possible option. But he does give one SBL to, uh, Steel Block. Maybe Steel Block. SBL. What would SBL be? Um, uh, to Shooting Guard. I don't, I honestly have no idea what that is. Ah! The thing is, I can afford to play more head-to-head -head games now, so I can get more rep. So, honestly, if I'm grinding, then me... Getting more rep for packs I want later on shouldn't be an issue, but I'm lazy. But I'll have more time later on this week. So we're going to go ahead and drop 15k rep. I'm not going to... Well, actually, I don't have anything else I could even drop. But I'm going to drop what I do have on this one pack. See if we can get anything good. And Elite would be fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, we get a 78. I can work with that. That's going to be an upgrade to our team as well. Let's take a look at his stats real quick. Okay, 80 inside paint shot, 80 dribbling, 80 pass accuracy. That's actually not too shabby. And then he's also got one passing accuracy, I believe, to our point guard. So that's actually going to be pretty nice. I will take that. And we're going to take a look at the other Team of the Week players real quick. Let's see. So we can't actually look at their stats. And if we go to the auction house, we're going to see that they're not up there. But hopefully, we will get changes to that soon. Honestly, I don't know what the purpose of even having a program filter is in here. If you're not going to make them auctionable, and you also don't have any, like, you don't even have the programs listed. What's, what's the purpose of this? At least don't taunt us and take it out of there so we actually have something we can do. But I am hoping, I'm hoping so, so much that we get a change to that. That we get at least make the gold auctionable that is my one request because if we can't even auction the golds our only option for getting one of these masters is to play the live event four thousand times four thousand hold up nope they might have cut it in half with the two stamina live event that's still two thousand times you got to play a live event 
Now, I know they're trying to boost the stamina, but that's still not a reasonable goal for anybody trying to get these cards. So, I'm hoping they get that fixed soon. I'm assuming these are still not auctionable. I'm going to go to sell items real quick and just make sure that I'm not... Yep, not auctionable. As I thought... And I don't think he's got great stats either. Nope, nothing above an 80, so I'm definitely not going to be using that one. All I can really do with him is throw him into the set, and I've got to have 20 golds just for one elite. Kind of ridiculous. So hopefully, 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 we get that fixed in the future. I'm not going to buy any bundles until we do get that fixed because, guys, I just don't feel like it's worth it to get a bunch of unauctionable players and never be able to do anything with them. So hopefully EA listens to our feedback on the auctionable players the same way they did on the auction house, the same way they did on live events and stamina, and hopefully we can get a great game. The developers tweeted out earlier that there are still more updates and fixes to come, so hopefully auctionable players is going to be one of them, because I know that's something that everybody in the community wants to see. But that's going to be it for the video today. We'll probably have more later on for you guys, so make sure to drop a like down below if you want to see that. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.